two, Fontaine. Atlas Fontaine, the guy that used me, and the guy that stole me from my family of Andrew Ryan and Jasmine Jolene. Yeah, those were my mom and dad. And Fontaine took me from them so that I guess he could test me for genetic aging. You are now unable to save the game and there are no Vita chambers nearby. If you die, you must continue from saved progress. Smart. Huh. It actually auto-saves, okay. Alright, there he is. Fontaine. Yeah. Go! Go now! Hit it with the needle! Yeah. Oh god. Ooh. Oh, where is he? Oh my god. Is that what he actually looks like? Holy smokes. He actually- oh god. He actually fucking reminds me of the pyro guy from Kid Icarus Uprising. He is actually standing on the fucking machine. He is not taking any of that electric bowl. What the heck? Jeez, he's fast. He's even like faster than a fucking big daddy. There you go. Alright, drain some more in him. Ugh. Now using ice attacks. Guess I shouldn't feel too bad about this right now. Oh. Oh, I think I froze him. Ah. Unzip him? How am I supposed to do that? He's he's made of ice. <laughs> He's doing a little dance like ooh dee -dee -doo 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 -doo. Although this is a very fucking easy boss. What the heck? All I just have to do is like just move. All right. Oh. Kill him. Whoa, okay. Ow. Well, looks like he's doing electric attacks now. Get him. Oh, he's going to punch me. What the heck? Ah! Oh! Ow! 
Ow. Holy smokes. Ugh. Right in the heart. Wait, that was it? Ugh. That was close. <laughs> Well, it looks like it shows. I beat him. He's literally made of gold. Really? Get him! Get him! Kill him! <laughs> well, I guess that was the boss. They offer you everything, yes. And in return, you gave them what I have come to expect of you. Brutality. <laughs> Why, you little? You took what you wanted. All the atom, all the power. Well, looks like the splicers are free. But in the end, even the rapture was not enough for you. Your father was terrified the world would try to steal the secrets of his city. But not you, for now you have stolen the terrible secrets of the world. Looks like they're gonna nuke the city now. <laughs> now that the secret's out. Rapture is going to be blown to pieces, I guess. So that was Bioshock. I did the bad ending, so... Actually... No, there's three endings. No, okay. Yeah. So... I only did the bad ending because I wanted to see what it's like. Like... It was just for casual... Yeah, it was just for casual, like... I want to see what it's like at the end. But apparently there's one ending that goes canonically through a DLC in Bioshock Infinite. And... After the credits, I'm only just going to look that up on YouTube. And I'll show it to you guys if you want to see it. Um... That was one heck of a boss, like... <laughs> all I literally did was just move left and right. All I did was just move left and right and use my machine gun. And then once he went up to that thing, all I did was drain him. I mean, it did tell me at the beginning, like, when he was strapped on. In fact, he looks something more like, what? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm not gonna go into details on that, but he, he was holding that pose on that machine and, and they said, like, Drain him! Drain him! And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it gave me a shit ton of Adam when I sucked it in. Apparently he had a lot on him, too. Like, his... He was taller, and his whole body was made of, like, bronze or gold or something. <laughs> he was like a super mutant. And... That was probably the first time we ever saw him, too. <laughs> we were only looking at him through his, like, picture. And that's what he actually looked like. He took over Rapture and we killed him? Well, the little sisters actually drained him out and killed him, probably. And... I got brutal. I... killed a lot of little sisters and... now the whole world knows. The whole world knows about our little secret. In fact, let's see. If I can go here. I talked about the setting here. If the player harvests more than one little sister, Jack turns on the little sisters to harvest their atom. 
Tenenbaum sadly narrates what occurred, condemning Jack and his actions. A U.S. Navy submarine then comes around the wreckage of the plane and finds itself suddenly surrounded by bathyspheres containing splicers who attack the crew and take control of it. The submarine is revealed to be carrying nuclear missiles, with Tenenbaum claiming that Jack has now stolen the terrible secrets of the world. The more Little Sisters are harvested, the more harsher and more furious Tenenbaum's narrative becomes. So I just made her pissed off. Fontaine's Lair Walkthrough. Huh. So now I'm just gonna have to watch the ending where uh, Jack saves all the little sisters. Actually, yeah, it, it shows here too that there's only just two endings. Then what was that? Uh, what was that little thing that they showed in uh, Game Facts here? There's three endings. Save all the little sisters. Ending B: Harvest all the little sisters. You know. Oh, okay. I did ending two, and ending three is actually uh, rescue all the little sisters in the game, but harvest one. <laughs> but I do know now that I unlocked the trailer for Bioshock 2, Sea of Dreams. This was actually an interesting game though, like, or no, this was a dark, beautiful looking game. It showed like what they can come up with with a giant utopia. Oh. It really just showed what they can come up with with a giant city underwater called Rapture. Oh, and a little bit of advice too. Do not go to Rapture. It it would probably be very uncomfortable down there. If I were you. But yeah, Rapture. Bioshock 1. That was pretty good. I liked it. <laughs> it was it was ruthless, it was hard. The only thing I complained about was the auto-aiming. And uh that, that's pretty much it. Actually, the final boss was a bit easier than I thought it was. Like, I, actually, I probably would have died to the boss if I wasn't careful with my health packs. I really enjoyed it. It was a, it was a nice little survival horror. It wasn't even that scary at all, though. But, I really liked it. It was beautiful. It was kind of sad. Yeah, it was kind of sad a little bit. And... They, they should have just added a bit more things to the final boss. I, I feel like most final bosses in games can get a bit underwhelming. I guess it's just depending on the difficulty you're in. Because I was on normal. And... I don't know. But I still enjoyed it overall. Like, if I would consider getting this game... Get the Ultimate Rapture Edition on the PS3. Or just any platform it, it is on. Because it can get two, both two games. And you can probably just get Bioshock Infinite somewhere else for cheap. I think I have it for PS4, actually. Yeah, I think I have it for PS4. But I'm going to play the... I'm going to play the two endings. Yeah. I'm just going to watch the two endings here. They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave hmm. them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. 
A chance to huh. learn. To find love. To live. And since the end, what was your reward? You never said it. But I think I know. A family. Aww. So I guess, um... I guess what happened there was like, I rest... Yeah, I... I guess I rescued all the little sisters from Rapture. I guess they were like, stuck down there or something. And I guess Tenenbaum was trying to save them. That's what I should have done. Was rescue all of them. Because then they could go off with their normal lives. They could get graduated. They could get married. And... I saw what happened there too. It looks like I passed away. Because... What it said in the, the plot. That I looked up. He had like some age acceleration going on yeah he was genetically modified to age rapidly so I guess the the genetics became too powerful that he died very quickly he he died of old age too quickly so that was no more of Jack I saved the little sisters but not to save myself So that was Bioshock 1. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then I just drift off away. <laughs> Anyways. I loved it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And this has Mr. Bright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Mr. Bry Guy. Going off once again to another game. To a new Let's Play. Scaringer plays Bioshock has come to an end. Oh, and I haven't said this in a long time too. Hit that subscribe if you want to see more playthroughs. Alright. Angel is out of here. <laughs>